Greetings to another video. Today I'm gonna to do a what I eat in a day. Um, it's gonna be plant-based and also I guess if you wanna lose weight, this is kind of the foods that I've been eating, I guess over the last, I don't know, four or five years that I've been able to lose like 35 kilos. And also I thought I would kind of like jazz it up a little bit by doing like a bit of meal prep as well of like what I do for like for the week because I am quite lazy when it comes to food. Like I just, I just like really basic things and I don't like spending a lot of time cooking. And so I just kind of like prepare stuff like in batches just so that I don't have to keep making stuff throughout the week. So I thought I would just share with you, um, yeah, something a bit different. So first up we've got breakfast and I either have porridge oats or I'll have like a smoothie, but today I'm having porridge oats and fruit. So yeah, I just make my oats, I have a handful of oats, mix it with water, cook it on the cooker, add berries, add cinnamon, add sugar, and add some oat milk, and that is it. Pretty simple. And then I'm gonna make dinner, which is basically like bean burger. So that's two cans of like mixed beans. Just blend them up just to get them a little bit smushy. And then that at the side is just some brown rice left over. I'll leave all the measurements and stuff in the link in the description box, I mean. And then just mush it all in, add a couple of oats, and then just season it. So I've got mild chili powder, uh, some actual chili powder, which is really hot, which is pure chili. So just, yeah, just a little bit of that. Onion granules, which is a good replacement for salt if you don't actually want to put salt in there. Smoked paprika, I love that, so I really chuck a lot of that in. And then just mush it up, put it on a baking sheet and then put it in the oven. So I cook this for half an hour at 200 degrees um, Celsius and that's how they came out and they are delish. And I just had that, I actually had four in the end with some broccoli and some red cabbage and oh my God, I love pickled red cabbage. It is amazing. My mum makes it, it's oh, so good. And then I've just got some ketchup and mustard. I also put some balsamic vinegar on the broccoli as well. And then I just save them for the rest of the week. As a snack, I had some fruit and some oat milk. Right, so I've had breakfast. I've made the bean burgers. One thing I would add, if I've not added it already, I would add roast sweet potato in that. I normally do it and I was like, oh, I'll be fine with that. It just wasn't as nice. So add roasted sweet potatoes, maybe like one or two just into that, just to like soften up a little bit. Um, so now I'm gonna go to the supermarket because I need to get a few little bits for um, my tea. And it's gonna be like a tea that I'll have maybe three, maybe three or four nights maybe this week. Um, it is my absolute favorite. I, oh, I love this so much and I need to get some ingredients. So I thought I would take you along to the supermarket with me just to go and grab some bits and to show you some of the stuff that I buy really. Uh, thought that might be interesting. I do get a lot of questions on my Insta saying, what do you eat? I should do some more like what I eat weight loss videos. So here it is. Let me know if you like them. Cause I always feel like, are people, <laughs> are you, do you really like these type of videos? I feel like it's just not that exciting, but if you find them useful and helpful, then I will continue to make them. So I'm gonna head out on the bike now. So I will see you at Sano's. Right, also want to add as well, if you are wanting to lose weight, do not underestimate the power of just riding to the shops, riding to work and back, because I lost the majority of my weight just doing that at the start. I wasn't doing anything crazy, like mega, mega distances. It was literally riding to work and back and then to the shops. It, um, and now I'm here, I thought I would just share where I actually lock my bike, because that's one of the main things. I think people get scared that they're gonna buy something and get nicked. Um, a lot of supermarkets aren't that cycle savvy and they put bike stands like way around the side with a Tesco near me, they're, they're nowhere near. So if I go there, I literally lock it to like the back of the uh, trolleys because it's close. you basically want somewhere that's as busy as possible. So I'm locking it here, there's a big window there so people can see if anything's happening. Also, how I carry stuff is I always put a saddle bag, a big, it's like a 14 litre one because I don't really like carrying some on my back. I hate having weight on my back. Um, so yeah, that's what I carry the stuff in. And then also, the lock that I use, I've got, um, this is the hip lock, this is the DX, but it's the DX, DXF, it's the new one. And basically, this is very clever, I'll show you a close-up in a minute, but yeah, basically it's just a frame attachment that goes onto your bike and you can just drop it in and out. Because again, I hate carrying weight on my back, that just makes it so much harder. That's a, it is a sole secure one. So for insurance and stuff, I beat that. This is a Revelate Designs bag. I bought this 
when I first started cycling, it is massive. The only thing it's not very good at, it's not got a, um, like a little hook to put your light on, so my light has to go right at the side, which isn't ideal. I always just lock my wheels to my frame. Um, the DX does actually come with a cable, but just to save like extra, it's quite a long, thick cable, uh, I just use these in Z-locks. These are my absolute favorite. Also, Hiplock do have um, like a chain bell that you wear when you ride. So if you've got like say an e-bike and you need to get like a bigger like surface rather than like fitting something into that. Um, so if you want like a chain one, they have that that just kind of like velcros around your waist, which is really nice. I used to use that one, but since getting this, I like that because it just fits onto my bike and I'm just really don't have to feel the weight of it. This is one of my all time favorite recipes. It's kind of like a chowder slash soup, slash dal, slash curry. All the ingredients and stuff are in the description box. Basically all I've got there is red split lentils, celery, sweet corn, sweet potato, white potato, um, and peppers. Chuck all them in a pot, add in some spices. So I'm gonna put in chili powder, onion powder, uh, dried chilies, and paprika. That is the main ingredient that I like in this. I just chuck a load of that in cover it with water, depending on how thick or thin you want. I, I like it quite thin, so I put a lot of water in there and then put it on in an instant pot for 40 minutes. If you don't have an instant pot, I mean, they are really good, um, but just put it on a pan until it's all boiled. That's it. Now I'm gonna go on and have a quick little snack while that cooks. That is why boiled potatoes are so good. Just have them with a bit of chutney. So now I'm prepping some breakfast for the week. And these are overnight oats. They last for, what, three days maybe? So that is just oats, frozen cherries. I'm adding carob powder and some sugar, water, mix them up. It looks gross. I promise after a day, it's like a dessert. It is so nice. I just have it either for breakfast or for a little snack. And then talking of snacks, I then have another snack of an apple and a cup of tea. It's Earl Grey decaffeinated tea. And now the doll soup thing is ready. Just whisk it all up. I, I kind of like leaving it a little bit chunky. And then you can have that with like over rice. You can have it with potatoes, just as a soup. I had it with a soup this day. Probably had three bowls of that actually. And then I had green beans with it. And honestly, it is amazing. Oh, also on the green beans, I just had nutritional yeast and pepper. So that is what I eat in a day. And that's how I prep my food for the week. And I think that is one of the biggest tips um, for losing weight is just always having something to hand that's really nice because that's when people order takeaways when you're a bit lazy and you're hungry and you just want to eat so just make sure you've got stuff in your fridge in your freezer um, but that doll soup chowder thing is honestly one of my favorite favorite meals so definitely try it let me know what you think of it and yeah I should say as well like for me in this weight loss kind of like five year thing I've never counted calories I've just always eaten just um like vegan, like plant-based until I'm full. But um, one of the main things that I've done is just trying to le eat, uh, you know, foods that are as least processed as possible. I mean, I still have stuff that is processed, but I try and stick to more kind of like, le like less processed stuff. But I still have like, you've seen that I eat sugar. I still eat, I would still eat white rice. I would still have like, like the chutneys and stuff there, more processed, but yeah. Um, I just go away from like processed burgers and stuff. Like I would still eat them, like vegan ones, but I just prefer making them myself. So yeah, uh, that is it for this video. Like I say, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you next video.